For the first time since finding her husband dead in their Albuquerque home Sunday evening, Teresa Tapia is speaking publicly about the whole ordeal. News 13 sports director Van Tate just returned from the Tapia's home. He is in the newsplex right now. Van? Yeah, Dick, an emotional afternoon for Teresa Tapia. This is the first time she has spoken publicly since her husband's death, and it was Teresa who discovered his body Sunday night. She sat down and talked with me about how she's trying to deal with that and with Johnny's legacy, a man who had so much success as a five-time world champion boxer and a man who also had many struggles with addiction. Teresa says she is trying to digest that her husband of nearly 20 years is gone. She says when she discovered his body in the bedroom of the family home, it was more than she could take. The police report came out yesterday, and here's Teresa's reaction to what was in it. I don't remember anything that was in it because it was like when it happened, it was such a traumatic experience that I don't even know. I mean, I was asked so many questions. I, I don't remember. I mean, number one question was, you know, was he doing drugs? That's the number one question on everyone's mind. I hadn't seen him. Did I see him do drugs? No, I didn't. Has he abused him in the past? Yes, he did. That's all public record. Was he doing them? I don't know. Now, Teresa says Johnny told her just last week that he thought the end was near, that 45 would be his final year. Dick? All right, Van, we'll have much more of Van's interview with Teresa Tapia tonight on News 13 at 10. Fans can remember Johnny Tapia this weekend at the Pitt Memorial Service on Sunday evening. The doors open at 6 p.m., followed with a viewing at 7, and then the memorial service itself at 8 o'clock.